Welcome to another special Motor Money. It's day number two here at the North American Auto Show in Detroit. And like yesterday, John, we're going to be taking the folks uh, on a little tour around the arena here. Mm -hmm. One of the big stories today was the unveiling of the new Cadillac ATS Coupe. So did they hit the mark here? Uh, it's certainly very pretty. I mean, this is, on, on a simplest level, this is just the two-door version of the Cadillac ATS that was introduced about a year and a half ago. This has been a big seller for them. Uh, it was designed from the ground up to go right at cars like the BMW 3 Series. It's become a critical favorite. It's sold quite well. Uh, this is sort of the natural evolution of that. Unlike the CTS Coupe, which they did a few years ago and which had kind of futuristic rocket ship styling, uh, this is much more elegant car. Uh, it almost seems to riff on the beautiful uh, Cadillac show car the El Mirage they showed last summer, which incidentally is also here. We'll have some footage of that for you as well. Um, they're in similar blues, but uh, this is this is designed with a little more sportiness in mind, even than the than the uh, than the sedan version. Uh, they've widened the wheelbase a little bit. They're only offering uh, the turbo four cylinder and the big six cylinder drivetrains. Uh, they'll have a, a six speed manual available with the four cylinder. Uh, definitely. You know, aiming at cars like the BMW 4 Series, the Coupe, and so forth, um, it looks very strong from here. I mean, they've done, the, the recent Cadillacs have had terrific interiors, uh, good good assembly quality, good fit and finish. Uh, the cars we've seen here are pre-production examples, but they look certainly, they certainly look set to follow right in that direction with what we've seen from Cadillac recently. I think they did a good job here. Okay, and we, uh, during the uh, unveiling of this, we were able to get into the middle of the media scrum and talked with Bob Ferguson. Right, we talked with uh, Bob Ferguson, who is uh, the GM executive who runs Cadillac, about the ATS and the ATS Coupe and what this means to the ongoing project to, to sort of build out Cadillac as a significant global luxury brand. It, it has been the vehicle that we needed right at the right time, and it's helped us with who's buying and where they're buying. So the ATS, about 70% uh, of ATS buyers are new to Cadillac. Mm -hmm. Of those Conquest buyers, they average about 10 years younger, and there's a good split, about half are men, half are women. You know, Cadillac used to skew way heavy men. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we needed to do better on the coast. And last year we were up 38% on the west coast, and you can attribute a great amount of that to the ATS. So it's helping us in terms of who we sell to and where we sell. And now through the miracle of video editing, we'll bounce on over to the Acura booth where behind us, uh, Acura unveiled a new sedan today. This is the Acura TLX prototype. Uh, prototype meaning, officially speaking, this is not a final production car that's going to production, uh, it's, but it's not a concept either. This is a, a preview of what will probably be the 2015 Acura TLX. This is a new mid-size sedan, all-wheel drive, choice of four or six-cylinder powertrain, eight-speed sequential manual transmission that also has a torque converter, which is an odd, if you know transmissions, that's an odd matchup of technology, and we're hoping they explain more to us. But Acura's point with this car is that you can enter the sports sedan segment without massive throbbing amounts of horsepower, but rather uh, with sensible control of weight and good handling and nimble dynamics and sort of fun to drive engines. People familiar with Honda engines know they tend to be zingy and fun, if not tremendously powerful. So in that spirit, this this car seems to be going in that spirit. And this is, this is going to be important for them. It'll probably be their highest volume product um, after the compact. And, and and be a significant seller for them in the U.S. if it pans out well. Uh, it's certainly pretty. We'll, we, you know, they did. There's a lot they didn't show today. For instance, they didn't even show us the interior. They say it's not ready. So it's hard for us to sort of pass judgment on is this a winner or not. Uh, it certainly looks pretty cool in red. Uh, it's a very accurate kind of car in that it's not going to throw up huge performance statistics, but it's the kind of thing people might really like to drive. So we'll see how it plays out. And from Acura, we'll move on over to GMC. And John, we have a new pickup behind us. This is the 2015 GMC Canyon. It will come out this fall. They actually actually introduced this on Sunday, so it, it's a little deceptive to say today. It was revealed by uh, outgoing GM product chief Mary Barra, and she's outgoing because this week she becomes GM CEO. Uh, but this is this is their new midsize truck. We saw its, it, its, its cousin, the Chevy Colorado, which is GM's other new midsize truck. We saw that about a month ago. Uh, the Colorado is 
package this kind of a sport truck. It's, it's for, you know, young guys who go out in the woods, that kind of thing. And you can kind of see where they're going to market it. Uh, the Canyon is, is packaged more like a GMC pickup, just a little bit smaller than the new Sierra that came out last year. And it's interesting. We're, we're, we're eager to see how they're going to market it. It looks like a good truck. It is not, I'll tell you this in person, it is not super small. Uh, when we were walking out of the stand, at first we saw uh, a Canyon next to a, a Sierra, and it was hard to tell them apart until we got up close. Uh, the details do differ, uh, but this is not a little truck. This, you know, if your last acquaintance with something like this was a Chevy S10 25 years ago, uh, <laughs> these are much bigger and much more sophisticated and much nicer inside. They're actually roomy trucks. Uh, they're just a little smaller, a little more efficient, a little easier to manage, easier to park perhaps if you live in an urban setting or, you know, the tight spaces at the grocery store or whatever, a little easier to park than a full-size pickup. Uh, aiming at that market uh, we, where there isn't really a big market right now. The Toyota Tacoma is really about it in that size. There's no more Ford Ranger in the U.S. Uh, GM thinks they can come out now with, with the Colorado and the Canyon and recapture some of those sales and maybe capture sales uh, that have been going to small SUVs as well. And we move from a pickup to something a bit more sporty and uh, behind us is the Lexus booth and a new coupe they're introducing. This is the Lexus RC coupe and they showed us two flavors of it. The RC 350 which comes with a 3.5 liter V6 and the RCF which comes with a big V8 that makes over 450 horsepower they say. This is a this is a mid-size luxury coupe, rear wheel drive, new product for Lexus. Um, it looks very spiffy. Got, it has a, a, a love it or hate it sort of nose but good line. Um, clearly a big day for luxury coupes here after we saw the Cadillac as well. They did not announce price, they did not announce a lot of details, but it is coming to market in 2015. So I would, I would expect this one not to be too cheap. This is going to go right up against cars like the BMW 6 Series from the looks of it. So this is going to be uh, a spendy ride and from all, look, from all we can see so far, a nice one. All right, let's wrap things up with a big to-do from Subaru. And John, a new car behind us here as we are bathed in this bright light. <laughs> this is the new 2015 WRX STI. If you don't speak Subaru lingo, uh, <laughs> this starts with the Impreza, which is their well-regarded uh, four-door sedan or hatchback. If you take the sedan version and you soup it up somewhat, you get a WRX. If you soup the WRX up, you get an STI. This thing has 305 horsepower. It's a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine only available with a six-speed manual. You can get a slush box in the, in the regular WRX, but only a manual in the STI. Uh, we looked around inside it a bit. The interior is very similar to what, if you've seen the WRX interior, it's very similar inside with some, uh, the car behind us, the silver car had some uh, little funky red accents and STI badges and so forth, but it's really the same kind of layout. Uh, it's got some sophisticated uh, trickery in the suspension, should be the best handling WRX variant yet, at least for street purposes. Uh, looks like a strong package here, something that Subaru fans are really going to like. And it has been our pleasure to bring you all the highlights here from the uh, 2014 North American Auto Show in Detroit. Don't worry, we have lots and lots more that we shot here, lots and lots more that we'll write about. So stay tuned to full.com in the days ahead and we'll bring you all the best. Thanks for joining us.